you're negotiating contracts. I'm giving you the real. If you're negotiating contracts, you're dealing with these niggas that's not in the room with you to build every day. Every day, when I showed up to Complex, the only people that were there before me is Joe Budden. And at least for the last four months, there's a guy named Chops. He runs a social media for Complex, but I'm the third person there. A lot of times, the reason why I'm the third person there is because I've been on stream a lot of times. And I'm, I'm keeping it a thousand with y'all. I ain't got no reason to lie. You know what I mean? All of this shit, it affects me because I'm not going to lie. Up until this morning when I went in there and I'm, I'm like talking, I'm like, yo, I was fully under the, the, the condition thinking that Joe is going to be there. I'm not fucking around. I thought Joe was going to be there somehow. You know what I mean? That shit affects me. Me and Joe, we've had conversation. I've told Joe, Joe knows exactly how they're coming at me. Joe knows, well, I, I'm not going to lie, I don't know how they're coming at him, but I know how he knows exactly how they're coming at me. A lot of y'all say, I should do whatever. 100%, bro. Keep it a, a thousand. And ain't nobody could tell you different. Because I'm telling y'all the truth. Complex started negotiations with me a week ago. Complex was negotiating with Joe three months ago. If you're looking at that and you're trying to make some type of thing of it, essentially, Complex realized there's a problem in how they do things. They looked at Joe. They said, Joe, we had a lucrative Spotify deal that we promised Spotify you, academics, Nadeska, and then Spotify eventually realized that you weren't going to be a part of that for a Friday show. And they realized it was only going to be Nadeska and academics. Things change. Joe is phenomenal. Um, you know what? In all of this, and you know, I mean, that's just personal ego shit, but I could put that to the side. Joe is a certain type of way, but... I know a lot of y'all take me for granted because I've been there. Like, credit to Joe, he's been there through everything. You know what I mean? Like, in terms of, um, like, he's someone who knows the business. I don't really know the business like that. Like, yo, honestly, like, I got a lawyer who's been rocking with me for the last, like, little while. He's put me onto shit. I'm like, oh, shit. So I got him negotiating with Complex right now. I'm not even, like, I talk to them, like, yo, I, yo, I fuck with you. Like, I see you in the office. Like, you're cool. But I can't tell you a yes or no. Like, you got to deal with my lawyer. Like, I'm sorry. I used to deal with that shit by myself. But with everything with Joe and um, me, you know what I mean? Like, it's disheartening. Because I'm looking online and I see people, like, throwing me under the bus. And I'm like, y'all could throw Complex under the bus. And I'm sorry if anyone from Complex is looking at this, but. I'm also being thrown under the bus, but, but the reason why I'm being thrown under the bus is because I never, ever said when they came to me with some shit, I ain't doing it. Came to me with a Spotify shit. Whatever y'all hearing from Joe, I listen to his podcast. That nigga ain't telling no lies. And oh, Actually, let me correct that because I could correct shit. I ain't going to get into definite numbers because, again, I'm still talking to Complex. The whole reason why I'm even doing this, Complex stopped talking to Joe three months ago. I started talking to Complex a week ago. They told Joe what it was three months ago or two months ago, whatever it is. So he's been dealing with that for three months or two months. And he's been dealing with that till he got to this point and he felt disrespected enough. He got to make it public. I know a lot of y'all like your academics ride out, but I'm like, how am I going to ride out for my mans? And I rock with my mans. Trust me. I rock with Joe. I 100% rock with Joe. I ain't gonna, you ain't going to hear a negative word about Yo, I could tell y'all if we just told my personal shit. Sometimes Joe be acting like a bitch. He probably said that about me. Like, y'all be acting like a bitch. I be acting, and, and, and that's just how we view sometimes how each other handles certain shit. Now, when it comes to negotiating with Complex, Joe is hella important. I think I'm hella important. So when Joe feels he's old, whatever, and I'm sometimes, 
You know what I mean? Like, Joe has a manager. He has a whole thing. Yo, he's been in the music industry for years. I'm not going to lie. With, I'm, I'm keeping a thousand with y'all. Before, like, two months ago, I was negotiating everything with Complex by myself. I have assistance, but they don't have no say over me. They don't have no legal, like, knowledge in terms of what, what is worth and what it, what it is. Joe's always had that. So, the whole point is this. Joe is doing his thing. And I'm doing my thing. We're not negotiating as a group. I seen somebody said today, it was like, yo, um, for some other situation. And I guess they were criticizing me. And I think that, that, that's the only thing I'd be looking like, yo, damn. Like, I mean, y'all could be mad at Complex, but y'all gotta, y'all gotta really respect me. If, if they were negotiating me and Joe as a team, I'm 100%. If Joe leaves, I'm leaving. If they're negotiating us as a team, where I'm, yo, they're not negotiating us as a team. I had no clue of what they're offering Joe, what Joe's turning down, or what Joe is, was telling them he'd be cool with for literally months. They told me, we're talking to Joe now, we're going to come to you later. You know why they did that? And by the way, uh, this is 100%. They said, yo, Joe is harder to work with, so we're going to need some extra time with him. Like, some of the things that he be bugging about, you don't seem to bug about. Now, are those valid? I, it's not even my place to talk. Now I got an attorney. If my attorney says yes, that's what it is. I've empowered my attorney to do whatever he needs to do. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. I'm going to tell you how this, man. This whole thing happened in the last, like, two days. This shit is affecting me because a hundred percent. I thought Joe was coming back. I thought this was all negotiations. Facts. I'm like, yo, you know what I mean? I know they're getting to me now in terms of, like, trying to negotiate shit. And I could tell you, like, I ain't got to, I mean, I ain't going to tell you exact numbers and shit. My attorney sent them some shit. They sent my attorney some shit. They're waiting for my attorney to send them, send, send them some other shit. And that's how negotiations happen on this level. So they're talking to me. And, I mean, I'm talking to them. Allegedly, they hit Joe with the final offer months ago. So Joe was doing the show with us, you know what I mean? Because he was trying to plan his 2018. He was trying to figure out what it was. They've been told him that. I've just always thought that you know, somehow, some way it's going to get done. Again, I don't know what he's asking for. I don't know what they're willing to give. So again, I, I, know, I know a lot of people, a lot of people want to say, yo, either fuck complex or Joe's wilding. I don't know what they're asking for, bro. 100%. I don't know. If I knew, I could really I could really speak on it, but I don't know. I only know about me. I know about me. My attorney knows about me, and I've kept it 100. Joe probably knows about me. But it's me. I don't really know what he's fighting for. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to get too much in the contract, but I'll let y'all know some shit. Joe, Joe's fighting for creator of the show. Joe created the motherfucking show. I don't care who who it complex and if y'all watching this, y'all know what it is. Again, I'm only speaking on what I came into and Joe's impact on it. Y'all niggas ain't do nothing. from my from my introduction to everyday struggle and what it ended up being. If Joe said he created shit, I'm rocking with that. Unless y'all give me overwhelming proof that that's not the case. I came in, it wasn't supposed to be me, it was supposed to be someone else. He took another job. It was a blessing in disguise, even though that person is wonderful and slew to him. But it wasn't going to be a older demographic versus a younger demographic. Okay? Show was great. So, you know what I mean? In that sense, I can't speak on it. So, I see a lot of people, and that's the only thing I'll be looking at. It feels disheartening because, yo, I can't. I know y'all want me to, yo, I ride for my niggas. Y'all, I heard all the songs I played. I, bl I was going to speak today. I played every song. They had a meaning. They had a meaning. Listen to all the songs I play again. If you're watching this on YouTube, because somebody probably uploaded, because I don't think I uploaded, but who knows? Maybe I will. I don't know. But they had a meaning. It's not me in terms of, like, how I, like, this is some shit that don't got to do with me. I don't really know what's going on. The whole time I'm sitting here like, yo, January 8th is the day we're supposed to come back. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you know, I, I'm not, I left Everyday Struggle today. I thank my whole staff. By the way, Joe, if you're, if you're watching this, that's my only gripe with you. If you're not coming back, 
We work with a lot of people. They got nothing to do with the corporate shit. They, 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 can't, they can't determine if a check is cut. They can't determine if you get whatever. I don't, I don't even know what you want. They can't determine that. But there are people who made us us. They edited our videos. They mic'd us up. They produced a show. They fucking did the technical shit. I think, and I told them today, I said, yo, when I talked to Joe, and I, I did talk to Joe today, I, so, so it is definitely my bad. Yo, Joe, you gotta, yo, if you leave and just, you gotta say bye to these people. This is 100%. Like, you know what I mean? These people have changed my life. And I don't know if they changed your life, but they've been influential in what the show has become. Your beef with Complex. When I'm, and, and, and I know Joe, and I've listened to his podcast, Complex or Verizon, your beef with them. It's not your beef with the people on the show. My man Dre, who mics me up every morning, he's a fucking amazing. He's great. My man Craig, who deals with all the camera, and he's one of the only niggas in the room when we're shooting, he's fucking amazing. You feel me? And those people, I, I just feel like, yo, even if you leaving, if I was leaving, I'd be like, yo, listen, man. Listen, regardless of this other shit, this, this corporate shit, I fuck with you.